Did you know that about like 70% of the potential viewers come to your channel while you're offline? It may be because you made a great YouTube video, a super awesome tweet, or even like a really nice food Instagram post, right? Um, it is super important to have a banner up there and it needs to be representative of yourself. Take us for example. We made sure we have our avatar on there so that straight up people know that we're a couple with pink and blue hair. Super representative. So we are Mel and Max and today's video is about how to create your own easy and uh, super efficient offline screen. Keep it simple. Don't clutter your offline banner with so many information, right? Um, information you could see in there would be your avatar or your logo that defines you. Also, put your channel is offline and uh, maybe a few social medias. Uh, some people, they like to put their schedule in there, but if you have them in your panels below, it's not really necessary. Here are the steps to create your own free and super easy offline banners using Photoshop. So in Photoshop, you create a new document, which size needs to be uh, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Resolution, leave it to 72. So drag and drop the background of your choice. It needs to be at least as big as the canvas, because if not, if you scale it to be bigger, it's going to lose some quality resolution. It's not going to look good. No, nope. you don't want that. If you need to scale the background image, just go ahead and hit Ctrl T on your keyboard. You'll get a bounding box around your image that you can then use to transform it. You can even like rotate and stuff like that, right? Super easy, yet super effective. And then hit Enter to confirm your transformation. Now add your logo or avatar. As you can see, it creates a new layer, and if you want to move it, use your arrow. It's going to be as simple as that. Know that Twitch overlays your latest video or highlighted video on the top right of your offline screen. So take that into consideration while creating your layout. Great thought. Now with the text tool, you can add the text you want. You can change the font, the size, and the color right here in the top menu. As for the icons for the social media, you can find them online super easy in Vector, so it's really resizable, everything is good. You wanna go ahead and change the colors? Hit Control U, play around with it, have fun. We decided to put them blue because it's kind of our look that we have in our panels and stuff like that. So we try to keep the same look, right? Now again, with the text tool, you can go ahead and add all of your social media's information. At this point, save your document in a PSD file so that if you need to make modification or adjustment, you'll have the whole document in layers so it'll be super easy to do. Boom, just like that. Then save a copy as a JPEG format in order to upload it on Twitch. It needs to be less than 10 megabytes. So in the format here, you select JPEG. Mm -hmm. Boom, just like that again, uh, easy. So now head over to your dashboard, click under settings, click the channel button, scroll down a bit, and you'll see video player banner, click the upload button, select your JPEG, of course, and voila. Easy. Then head to your channel and see what it looks like. If you're happy with it, Good awesome. job. If you need to make modification, open up that PSD file, right? You have those layers, it's gonna be so easy. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you need information about our social media, everything is linked down below. If you want to check us out on Twitch, we stream five nights a week. And also our Discord is a great place if you need some information. Our DMs are always open. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.